have tried a plethora of science curriculums over the years and even went to not using a curriculum at all and just relying on YouTube videos. But I have finally found a curriculum that I think is going to do everything I want out of a science curriculum and it is called the Young Scientist Series. Hi, I'm Stacy with Kids Learning for Life and I started using this Young Scientist Series curriculum at the beginning of the school year and we have officially gotten through two units and have moved on to our third. So we did the Take a Closer Look, which is a introduction to microscopes. We also did the World of Plants, which is how plants live and grow. And now we are moving on to Let's Find It, which is all about maps and globes. This curriculum actually has 11 units, but it is not intended to all be completed in one year. On their website, they actually have it broken up into a fourth grade, a fifth grade, and a sixth grade package. There is an intended sequence of study, and they have that list on their website. And so again, the first one is going to be microscopes, and then they want you to move on to plants, and then maps and globes. So far, just based on what I've done, I haven't seen that, you know, microscopes needs to be learned first because you're going to start doing microscopic stuff in plants. Um, I thought we would. But this, none of the experiments in here have you go do like microscope stuff. So, so far I haven't found any real reason to have this layered study. But again, all of these were meant for fourth grade. So I don't know for sure. I do have all the other units as well, but I'm not sure if they get harder as they go or if you really could just use any 11 of these with any fourth through sixth grader. Um, I feel like you could. But again, I haven't used them all to know for a fact. So let me quickly show you inside some of these books so you can kind of get an idea for the feel and the layout and how it works. So here's the recommended first book of the Young Scientist series. So opening it up, it does give some information about using a science journal. They do provide one science journal, at least with the kits I got. Um, it's nothing super fancy. It has some random pages in here. Um, some are like graph paper, some are just writing. Um, you could do without it if you wanted, any journal would work. And then it gives a table of contents of all the topics you're gonna be covering. And then again, simple text on the page, intriguing pictures to kind of make it super kid friendly, not super textbooky. Moving through the microscope slides, I'm trying to find a um, so this one has a lot of information and then each of these pages is an activity or experiment. So for here, you're just going to take your microscope that you have with your kiddos and have them name all the different parts and then answer a few questions. And then for the next one, after you set up, it like teaches you how to set up the microscope, then you're going to set up the microscope. Then, um, skipping ahead a little bit, then it shows you how to look at slides. So I just liked how there's information and then it follows up with some sort of activity um, and then continues at the very end. There's a bunch of activities that you can do, um, just depending on what you're going to look at underneath the microscope. So that's a quick look into that one. Now you can buy each of the unit books on its own separately and just have that, or you can also opt to get their home study kit. So that comes in a little resource folder like this and let me show you what's inside. So in here there's a student learning guide. So this is kind of like a little workbook for your student. Um, super, like it's just flimsy paper meant to be more of a checklist, you know, read this, do this activity, read this, um, do an activity. So it would be a way for your student to follow along and just kind of do it more independently. When they finish it, there's a little um, certificate and that's, that's all it is. So not a ton of information there. And then a learning guide and exams, just giving you a little brief introduction to the curriculum. And then here is for the teacher. So this tells you everything you're gonna need. So any other materials, so knowing ahead of time, table salt, sugar, feathers, different things like that. And then another certificate of achievement when they finish, if you want that. It also includes a little excerpt from a faculty training from the Delphi program. I didn't even realize this was in here. So um, just some information for the teacher again. And then lastly, there is an exam with, and then answers as well. So for this one, it was just basically point to everything and show that you can use the microscope. 
and then um, it has answers if you need them. So overall, do you need the home study kit? Well, it just depends on what you plan on using it for. My, I'm using this as kind of a family style. Even my second grader is listening in on these science lessons. So I don't really use it as an independent thing where my kiddos, so I don't need that independent um, student workbook. And we just kind of go over it ourselves. And so far, I haven't loved the final exams either. I mean, I did have my kiddos do show me all the microscope parts and show me they could set it up and take it down, which is just great for our homeschool because I know if they're like, hey, can I get the microscope out? I know they know how to use it, so I don't have to stress about that. Um, but again, I didn't do it as formal as the exams are. So would I buy the home study kits again? No, probably not. Um, but again, it just depends on what your preferences are and what your goals are for how you're going to use the curriculum. So just for reference to kind of see, they are set up very similarly, but depending on how many topics they plan on covering, there's not a set number of activities that you can expect. It just kind of depends um, by unit. So for this one, you go through, you know, only about two chapters and then you get into your own activity. So with the microscopes, you went through several chapters before you actually got to an activity where this one and then the activities all are very different based on what the unit's about, obviously. So I did just want to kind of show that, that, you know, sometimes there's not as much reading before you get to an activity. And with, you know, the microscopes, there were quite a few units. And then the last one for this would be World of Plants. And this one's actually much thicker in comparison. So, you know, every single one is not, it's not the same, but it covers a lot of information. So the plant one um, has all sorts of different topics. Oh, trying to find that table of contents for you. The plants has up to 13 different chapters. So that's why it's a little bit longer than when we have the microscopes that only had nine. For our family, I was able to fit science into our schedule by doing science and history one day a week on Fridays and then doing less of other subjects. Um, on their website, they do have like a suggested hours. I think it's like 13 to 17 ish hours, depending on which curriculum you get. So each book is expected to last that long. So you could definitely finish it faster. I believe the first one we did the microscopes, they were so excited about the microscopes, the way the book was set up at the very beginning, it was all, you know, in information about microscopes and how to use them. And so we kind of rushed through all of that reading and then got to the whole part where they could actually use them. So we did spend, you know, three or four weeks, maybe three, three weeks where a one week was just introduction. Another week we, you know, got out the microscope and then the last week we started using it. And again, my goal with that was to be like, hey, now you guys know how to use the microscope. So during any of our other science or while you're outside, they can come in and use the microscope on their own. And so I was not planning on, you know, this is the only time we're gonna use the microscope and then we're done. So it is now out in our homeschool room and I know that all my kiddos know how to use it and can prepare a slide and all of that stuff. So overall, I really love this curriculum. I just love the art inside the book. It makes it fun and exciting and inviting. My kids, you know, it doesn't look too textbooky. It's very simple. For me, the teacher, it, you know, I don't have a teacher's guide and this and that. It's just the one book and then a few of the resources to be able to use while you're doing the curriculum. So it makes it very easy for me to implement, not a lot of planning on my part other than looking ahead at the beginning of the unit to see what materials we might need for any of the activities or experiments. We will definitely be finishing up our last unit, the let's find it for fourth grade. And then I've already purchased the fifth grade books so that we can move on to that if we finish this. Cause I have a feeling we're gonna finish this before the end of the year and that I'll be able to continue on. So I don't know how long it'll take us to get through everything, but I'll keep you updated if anything changes. Now, even though I have found this curriculum, absolutely love it, we still have time for doing science with YouTube. So if you want some tips and ideas on how to do STEM with YouTube, I'll leave a link to this video so you can access those resources with your kiddos. See you next time and happy homeschooling.